The product that you're most um, well known for now is the Casey Anthony trial. I guess the question we want to ask is, um, what happened there? How was that trial lost? Well, you know, I feel that we did everything we could possibly do. Um, I've discussed at great length sort of my ruminations on what I thought about that case. I ultimately thought that the, the difficulty, the amount of pretrial publicity that existed in the case, combined with the normal requirements of jury selection, um, skewed our jury toward skepticism, toward a kind of jury that might need a great deal more than we had. Um, I believe we did everything we could do. I believe we put on an exemplary case. Um, I believe that the jury decided what they decided, and that was their perfect right to do so. Um, I haven't really heard any specific criticism of anything we should have done differently, could have done differently, that might have changed the outcome of the case. But I believe that I believe that, that trial, regardless of the outcome, is a showcase for how trials ought to be conducted. Mr. Lamar, you yes, have um, branded your opponent as, I quote, uh, quintessential, the quintessential disgruntled employee. And if that's so, does that speak to your judgment in if Mr. <coughs> Ashton was such a malcontent that you uh, put him on one of the most high profile trials in Orange County history, the Casey Anthony case? Why would you do that? Retrospectively, it probably was a bad decision. He was a complainer. Uh, we had to keep him from mentoring people, and he said in his own book, page 11 of his own book, that when he was asked to mentor some people in the juvenile uh, division, which he did not lead, which he claims to have led, it's led by Terry Mills U Valley, that he was negative and he wanted to go back to doing trials, so we put him back in trials. His mentoring style was not positive, it was negative, but that did not keep him from being an effective forensic lawyer. He loves forensics. He and I over the years have worked and talked together on forensic matters. He's very good at it, I think I'm very good at it. And he was to do the science work. It was to have been led by Linda Drain Burdick, which it was. Linda Drain Burdick and I, on according to her, six occasions during the build up to the trial, but during the conduct of the entire case, asked him to be calm, don't act out, don't show your emotions in court. Well, ultimately, he was admonished by Judge Perry. <coughs> ultimately, he kept acting out, and he acted out during closing argument. Uh, that was probably a sign of bad judgment on my part to allow someone who is very, very negative at times to be there. I gave it to him. If I'd been a good politician, which he's accused me of being, I would have kept the Casey Anthony science for myself. But I have to run the office. I could not afford to take that much time out and to do that sort of work. But we worked on the, the forensics as we built it. He was asked, please control yourself. Please, sir, control yourself. Don't act out. Linda Drain Burdick had a poster for the trial. It said, keep calm, carry on. It was a it was a poster from the uh, British government from World War II. She meant to keep calm, she meant him to keep calm, and she at all times deported herself as we require our lawyers to deport themselves, which is polite. You never dismiss or ridicule a defense lawyer. That ridicules the court, it ridicules, I'm talking about the judge, it ridicules the, the, the proceeding. If you feel bad about the defense lawyer, don't show it in court. Talk to him or her later and say, look, I've got a problem with you. But throughout this case, he was very dismissive, and we wanted him to settle down and be nice, because nice counts and lawyers should be well-behaved in that courtroom. Ultimately, he was not well-behaved, and I'm sorry that I let him do the work. Well, we're about out of time, but I just I think we'll give you the last word so you can uh, it. Give, your, uh, give your side of that. Um, if, if you want to know about my mentoring style, I suggest you look at uh, the evaluation of my term in juvenile by Terry Mills Duvalli that Mr. Lamar has quoted, and I believe you'll find it quite complimentary. She indicates that I was an excellent uh, mentor and leader to young lawyers. She complimented she, the skills throughout. Um, if you look at my personnel file, you'll find that there's no uh, issues about me, my being a, a sour or a negative employee. Um, my difficulty with Mr. Lamar's management is that I 
spoke up when I felt management was going astray. I was not shy about speaking up. Um, I spoke up respectfully. I spoke up often. And yes, that made me unpopular with certain managers in the office. However, to say that I was not a good mentor is absolutely belied by the record. Um, and in fact, the support I've been get getting from you know, uh, dozens of lawyers that I've mentored over the years.